sector thrives when it is easy to try lots of new ideas. Welcome back to Dr. Think and Shine's Neighborhood. I'm Judy Love Bowman, a.k.a. Dr. Think and Shine. I be saucing. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. We appreciate every like, every share, and every subscription. I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg. I feel like Zuckerberg. I'd rather read. I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg. I feel like Zuckerberg. Hey. If you or someone in your family is having a birthday this week or today, happy, happy birthday from Dr. Think and Shine and Friends. And you can go on over to our kids' channel, YouTube backslash Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School. And we have a read-along with our birthday DJ song. We have a cake and just a little celebration. So you can have a quarantine birthday right in your home, celebrating low-tech, faith-based with Dr. Think and Shine over on the kids' channel. So, happy, happy birthday from Dr. Think and Shine and friends. Now, let's put on our governess goggles. And as you know, the governess goggles is where Dr. Think and Shine puts on her social scientist hat. And we're not judging. We're just looking, learning, observing, listening. Today, we're going to look at one of Dr. Think and Shine's guilty pleasures, WeTV's Love After Lockup. Now, I've been watching it since the beginning, but the Lord led me to go ahead and speak on this particular segment. It's not a series or a particular episode, but I just wanted to speak on the situation with Quaylen, Chevelle, and Myela. As you know, there's a disproportionate number of black men who are incarcerated because of the mass incarceration, etc. Now, Quaylen apparently went to prison when he was 17 stayed in prison for 12 years. Then when he was 29 and came out, he had a mother, two sisters, a fiance of two years, I think. I think they may have been engaged for two years. My, uh, and, a, and she has a daughter, Myela. So that's five women. Now here, your brain's not even fully developed till you're 25. So here's a young man whose brain developed in prison, comes at, went in a child, came out as a man, and has five women who have emotional expectations, especially three or four of them. The mom, my, his fiance, and the daughter. And I just want to say that it's really difficult. Because a lot of times you don't even know who you are until you're 30. And I know they had a good relationship when he was in prison. And I just, I'm praying for Quaylen. I'm praying for the whole family. But what I want to tell the parents and grandparents is... Please try not to get your children involved. And see, I'm in my wisdom years. I made mistakes. I've been young. I've been 17, 29. I've been all these ages that these people are. It takes really brave people to go on reality television. So I'm not being judgmental. I just want to help other families and children. But <clears throat> I know that uh, Chevelle really loves Quaylen and enjoy the intimacy of talking to him so much and the time he gave her, the unconditional love he gave her, and time he gave her on the phone when he was incarcerated, and he made her a lot of promises that they would be a family. Now, what I'd like to say is, I don't think it's a great idea to get your children involved in all these kind of relationships. So young. Because my will probably forget about Quaylen if they don't stay together, but she's calling him daddy. So apparently, whoever her biological father is, Maybe she doesn't call him daddy. So if she she lost that dad, if she lost that daddy out of her life, then if she loses the one with Quaylen, because it seems like Chevelle keeps putting demands on Quaylen, like, well, you promised us. You said we were going to be a family. You promised us at the housewoman party that Chevelle hosted at her home, and she she's listed as a business owner. She bought him a truck. He was like, dang, I feel like a grown man. I got a truck and I can't even drive. Now, I don't know if he can't drive or if he doesn't have a license. But it just seems like we can't put a lot of demands on people. And I really liked it the way Chevelle it, um, encouraged 
Quaylen to go meet with her pastor, and her pastor was listening, but he kind of encouraged him to figure out where you, what you want to do, because he realized that Quaylen has all these demands on him. And black men, 29-year-old black men, are basically endangered species in the black community, especially in some urban areas. You might have 10 or 20 women to one black man. And statistically, 76% of black households are run by black women. So those 76% are probably wanting to see someone like Quaylen in their life, or anyone in their life, as long as they're breathing in male. So I just want to encourage Quaylen to follow God, Chevelle follow God, other parents, you follow God, and, and please don't bring children, uh, other relationships into your children and put demands on people. I see that a lot when I do my social scientist reviews of teen mom. Yeah, that the parents are often saying, well, I don't want this parent to be in his life unless they're going to be consistent. I don't want these grandparents unless they're going to be consistent. Children need to know that. Everything is not heart, hearts and flowers. Life is not a Hallmark card. Everything's not going to come out the way it is. Everyone's not going to tell the truth. Every dream is not going to come true. But remember this. Just teach them to trust the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. So I just felt like there were a lot of people sucking out of quailing. And I understand Chevelle was angry. But the anger comes from hurt and disappointment. She was angry. Well, you promised me that we were going to be a family. You need to keep your word. And Maila calling you daddy. And da 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 da. She created this reality in her mind and for her daughter. So let's just keep it in prayer. And also in my book, uh, Peaches, Woman's Thoughts on Finding Peace, Overcoming Peril, and Tapping Power, I have a section on the black family. And in my book, the P-15 Passbook, America's Passport for Unity, there's a big section on what the government should do for black people, and there's an even larger section on what black people should do for our own black selves. That's in the appendix. But I want you to take a look at that. And then there's a special, under, under the P-15 paradigm, the seventh P is parenthood. Take a look at that. It's really powerful. And look, Peaches and the P-15 Passbook or over on my other channel, Dr. Judy Online, J-U-D-I Online. You can check that out, um, Dr. Judy Online. And you'll see that I read the whole video book. So you don't have to buy the book if you're not able. You can just listen to me read it over there. But I really love love and lock up. And I'm praying for everybody. We all come, have sinned and come short of the glory. And I'm glad, Quaylen, you have a new start. Chevelle, you just were just opening your heart and your home to him. And I pray everything works out. Romans 8 and 28, not some things, but all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So until next time, hello to all the people who are on lockdown. I'm praying for you. And to those who are newly released, welcome back. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost. Boost, 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 boost. Thank you, We TV. An entrepreneurial culture thrives when it is easy to try lots of new ideas. Appreciate you. I also build chat systems and games, study tools, and music players, and I'm not alone. J.K. Rowling got rejected 12 times before she finally wrote and published Harry Potter. I be saucing, balling. Now that's the lead, I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg, I feel like Zuckerberg. I'd rather read, I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg.